Okay, in this video, I wanna to talk to you about the absolute encoders, all right? So from doing this review, it got me researching uh, what other types of encoders are there or knobs are there on a MIDI keyboard. There's endless encoders, there's absolute encoders, and I don't think there's the fixed type, but a lot of kind of analog gear sometimes has fixed knobs that you can kind of twist it and it actually locks into place, right? So these ones are absolute encoders. And what I learned about absolute encoders is um, they have their little notch on there, okay? So it could be used as a visual to see where you are. You can also feel it and it lets you know where you are without looking. So that's a cool little trick of the trade. Uh, these knobs themselves have a really good weight to them. So it doesn't just feel like you're twisting a piece of plastic. They have a nice resistance, making it really feel like more luxury. Uh, also, there are eight knobs and you can also switch through the banks as you can see right here, right? And so if you purchase my premium Oxygen Pro preset, I have this all set up for you. So, you know, as you can see, when you go to a different bank, it changes colors and every time you change a bank, you can use this knob again as a different parameter. Um, okay, so again, I've just done all that hard work going through figuring out how this works. And this is all for FL Studio, okay? Now, the next thing I wanna talk about is inside of the review, I talked about a uh, soft takeover, okay? I also left you a description from the manual. And the biggest thing to look for is, um, so when we go from one knob and then we switch banks, so for example, it's gonna change colors here, right? Now we're on kind of like a teal aqua color. Uh, so now this knob can be used again as a different knob. And so soft takeover, makes it so that when you switch banks, everything just doesn't switch positions. Because if you were setting up this for hands-on mixing, everything would go all weird. You guys can read what soft takeover is through this, but a big indicator, which is cool that they provided for us, is um, the display will show a checkered value meter, okay? And so let's hop into FL Studio and I will show you how to set this up just kind of quickly, okay? Inside of FL Studio, how you do this is you are going to right click on a knob and you go link to controller. I'm gonna to go to the very, very first bank, which is orange in our case, and I'm just gonna move the knob, and uh, it just looks like this. This little, this little window pops up, and as soon as you move a knob, it's gonna go away, and now you can see that I can control uh, this fader, okay? Now, if we wanna use the same knob somewhere else, so for, so for example, if I go to the next bank, you're gonna see that the pads change colors, that's just an indicator that we know. Uh, then you're, let's just say we go to nine, go to link to controller, and I'm gonna move the same knob, okay? So here it is, move the same knob. And so you can see it's not working. On your MIDI keyboard, if you have this, you wanna look at the checkered meter, or for me, I'm just gonna max it out, and okay, there we go. Okay, so let me just give you an example of how this soft takeover works, okay? So again, we have our different banks, and so we have eight knobs. When we go to the next bank, now we're at nine, okay? so. This is one all the way to eight. We go to the next bank. Now it starts at nine. And so that's how you get your 32 faders. On the first bank, let's just max it out. Okay, we're going to put it all the way here. Go to the next bank, which is now controlling nine. And so I'm going to uh, decrease this. And so if you look up here inside of FL Studio, this little icon is what lets you know that FL Studio is actually receiving MIDI data. It will go green. And as you can see, I'm moving it and it's not we're not getting any information. And so what happens is because on the first bank, we have it all the way maxed, okay? On the next bank, which is what this knob is linked to, it's linked to nine, we actually have to reach this point on the knob for it to kick in. And that's how soft takeover works. So watch, FL Studio is not seeing any information we're gonna keep going. We're seeing no information still because it's quite low, right? And as soon as we reach that, so now you can see that in up, up here, it's seeing it, okay? And sorry, if I move this knob, you can see it's green. I guess that's because it's not linked, but this one, when it is linked, it's, it's showing orange, okay? And so how you can see if soft takeover is working or not is uh, on the bar when you increase and decrease this. So you can see it just, uh, let me just make this full screen for you guys. Uh, so you can see that as it increases and decreases that this is going right. And if I go to the next bank, uh, it becomes kind of checkered. All right. Or sorry, the next bank, it becomes checkered. And uh, you, again, you have to reach the value for it to work. Uh, it's a little bit tricky to understand, but you can read it. And that's just how it, it works. Um, 
This MIDI keyboard works awesome when you go through your different banks. You can, again, you have your 32 knobs. Uh, for myself, I'm not too big on getting hands-on mixing, but I know a lot of you guys like that stuff. And when I first started, I really, really wanted that too. I always wanted to have a MIDI keyboard that allowed me to have hands-on mixing. Uh, I even purchased the Mackie Control Universal, if you've ever checked that out before. It's this, uh, this MIDI controller with motorized faders. So if you were to actually, um, if you were to actually move a fader in FL Studio, it would actually move it on the MIDI keyboard itself. It was like, it was really cool. But FL Studio isn't the best when it comes to hands-on stuff. The easiest way is always with the mouse. But I know, uh, again, a lot of you like you know, getting the hands on. So in this video, I talked to you about the absolute encoders. They're pretty cool. Um, actually, no, they're, they're really cool. I like them. Uh, the white notch is a really cool feature and they have a nice feel as you twist them and to set it up in FL Studio is super easy. So there you guys go. That, that is the absolute encoders.